coming out of the detail shop. My first test is full knock, turning it all the way to the right on our coverts. This is Austin's, and I love to make sure that we made sure that the covert is so legit. Let's review. So Austin Biggs, 2021, Acres Ford F-150, Lariat. What we've done, y'all, ladies and gentlemen, is we've pretty much made a midnight because this was a chrome appearance package. That's right, this truck had chrome bumpers, chrome grill, chrome galore. We're gonna take you over to the uh, lot and show you a direct comparison, but essentially we painted and did our custom paint work on bumpers, grill, emblems, mirror covers, door handles, side badges. Let's run back here. Exhaust tip and rear emblem. Like, you see this truck and you see this before and after and you're like, how do they do it, y'all? How do they do it? I'm still, I'm impressed. I'm impressed at how we can turn these trucks uh, into something special, something custom and unique for our great customers. So we are leveled on 34s. This overall setup to me, we have not done this exact setup and I really, really do like it. It has a definite Raptor vibe to it. Looking for something this side shot, it's got a Raptor's feel because we are on 17. 17 by nine, negative 12 on the offset. Fuel Rebel, could you imagine? And because of that negative 12 offset, we're sticking out a good bit. We're a good three and a half, four inches outside just gives it that more substantial vibe to it it definitely has that raptor vibe so i know he's gonna love it once he sees it here just a sec we're on 305 70 17 so like i said uh, a good wide tire at 34 inches tall you've got great room for articulation uh got a level kit as well and with this setup we did not have to remove we were not going to remove the crash bars front and rear um, but we still have great overall articulation and capability both on and off-road obviously and if you would have came out any more or gone any taller on your tire then you would have some major problems so this overall setup to me uh on the 17 or 18 inch variations we've done it's got to be my favorite because it's got the best balance of you got plenty of articulation capability you got a great aggressive stance like you would hope for um and an overall good tire size as far as height and width balance now yes this grill was chrome that was a chrome grill y'all so did body color and satin black and gloss black to correlate that front emblem uh side mirror caps door handles side bags all that was chrome did uh gloss there satin up top looks great and honestly y'all these are amazon running board looks like a kind of a go rhino uh style or variation but i'm pretty pleased with it and then also a good looking trifold bed cover from rough country to cap it off did aiken's liner guaranteed for life. also the black door handle was done or the chrome door handle was done black aiken's liner exhaust tip and we've got rear mud flaps. We'll notate the front mud flaps would not work because of the uh, oversized wheel and tire combo. So we were able to keep the rears, but the front didn't work. Stubby antenna up front, an American flag to cap it off, y'all. Black tow hooks. I think I covered it all. There's so much detail in this truck that, uh, God, there's just so much subtlety going on with this. I love it, y'all. So let me know what you think, uh, please, about this build if you're loving the small wheel bigger tire blackout so this is essentially a midnight covert edition raptor clone <laughs> what you what you think y'all um another great one about to go down there austin's about to be here so i'm gonna put it up on the rock and see what his impression is let's go so this right here is truly epic y'all these two trucks right here this that's an xlt so the grill is slightly different but essentially this truck looked like that one isn't that wild? So we had chrome bumpers, chrome grill, uh, even the mirror caps on the layer are chrome, chrome side badge, chrome wheels, obviously, running boards, door handles. I mean, that went to this. And the other thing that Austin, like me, really likes uh, in this truck is, you know, the Lariat Sport would have that 
Marsala wine color interior and you still get just a little bit of it in your piping but the predominance of it being on your door and on your front dash there is gone so a uh, very unique truck that a lot of people will really like this truck as well because we're getting rid of the chrome as well as not having the Marsala wine color on the inside and coming to around the back you can see chrome exhaust tip Obviously the custom, em the factory emblem, and then bumpers to this. Yes, let me back up, because I got the good sunlight. <laughs> what you know about that, y'all? So it's Logan's homie, and Logan and I are up here, and there he is, and we gotta, we gotta put him on blast. Look, what up, dog? Look at him, yes. Look at him. He's looking for it, he don't know where it's at. Where you looking to go? Oh, man. <laughs> Yes. Hey, yeah. Let's get get the get this stock truck out of here. Get this thing out of here. <laughs> All right, Austin. Do you like it? I love it. He loves love it. it. He loves it. It's Telling you, as I told y'all in the video, he had the vision, like many of you do and I do, of ways to turn. Like this is the best way to do a lariat. Take a non lariat sport, get the interior that you're looking for, and then obviously the outside speaks for itself. Yes, sir. So Austin. You know, we've had this discussion with our guys about painting the Ford logo on your steering wheel. That's like completes the puzzle. And my man here found a little graphic to go over it and do a little self install. So you know you got the blue and the chrome there. It's perfect. Let's see what we're looking like. So all the royalties from this part will have to go to him because he introduced us on a way to do this. You know what I mean? So that looks that looks great, dude. I, I like it, don't yeah. you? That's good. That looks great. I love that we are able to do things like these two vehicles that really takes care of what people truly want. That's what it's all about at the custom shop of Why With Us at Aikens Ford in Winder, Georgia. Y'all, thanks so much for watching again. Hit that subscribe button because we do this every day. Peace out.